Time to clean this lab room up today. I'm planning on starting up King Oyster and Lion's Mane spores tomorrow on Petri Dishes of Agar. I got some, a couple boxes just shipped to me of strawberry containers. This is what I use to store the mushrooms in. You see they have vent holes on the lid and along the bottom. Meant to hold one pound worth of strawberries. I think I pay about 15, 18 cents per container, something like that. And I always try to encourage people to bring them back to me so I can recycle them, wash them out. So what I'm gonna do first to this room is take these shelves out. And I could take a vacuum really and just you know vacuum all over but it's a bit more thorough and easier just to take them down to the basement and uh, rinse them off with the hose or just take them outside on the, the patio deck if it was nicer out and rinse them off. Just give them a good jet of water, knock any spores and dust off it, let them dry off and bring them back up. Got all my bins that I use. I'll be cleaning those out with some bleach wipes before I use them. In here. Now, say I wanted to not use this room for a couple years, and I had the HEPA filter boxes, the laminar flow hoods here, sitting around for a long time, I would actually take a couple sheets of cardboard and tape it to the front just to seal up this area. But what I'll do um, once I clean everything up, is turn it on and give it a few whacks with my hand, just kind of knock, knock any dust loose on there, let it blow out, and then use some uh, disinfectant spray to clean it up. And I always always use a light coat of you know Lysol, Clorox, whatever whatever disinfectant spray works. I find it's actually better to buy the name brand stuff. If you buy the generic cheap disinfectant, they'll kind of leave a Kind of a nasty film. I think that's I think it's the reason why I got some of this orange discoloration on this one that's old. I got my cart here. I'll probably rinse down too. Anything on this table underneath all this stuff, I'm gonna wipe down with bleach wipes. Also the underside. Even though it's still pretty darn clean, I'm going to wipe it all down with bleach wipes as well. Take the flow hoods off the table, wipe it down, wipe down the flow hoods, wipe, wipe everything down on a surface with bleach wipes pretty much. And then for the plastic on the walls and the ceiling, this plastic light fixture up here, all my segments of plastic curtains which are actually uh, the uh, polypropylene plastic tubing or polyethylene plastic tubing rather to cut the length makes good curtains and then I have a Steam cleaner. You can see it's one of these style where you plug it in, has a heating element in it, and then you you pump it up, yeah, like that, and it squirts the water onto the the bottom. Which I need to clean it up. It's got some dust on it, and then you use these <coughs> these rewashable pads, reusable washable pads. It's, these are actually completely clean and still a little bit stained from you know, many times of use. But you can bleach them out too. These are great. This is a, a Shark brand steam cleaner. And what I'll do is clean the floors up with it. Kind of get up here 
and you know get up there and press up against it and wipe wipe everything down like so just get up there might have to put that one hand behind it for the stuff that hangs freely but you want to I'm gonna steam clean everything and you could just wipe it down with hot soapy water too but I find this works pretty good it kills everything and then the, the pads eat up or uh, catch a lot of the dirt and dust too and any, any gritty stuff also too I've already I've already run the sweeper in here and cleaned up all that so I'm gonna get to steam cleaning taking the shelves down do maybe do a little bit of reorganizing and then uh, we'll take a look at how everything is ready for operation See how dirty these pads have gotten? That would have all been mold and bacterial contamination. Nasty. All right, I got everything cleaned up and wiped down. All the clutter is out of here. So it's ready to go. I've sprayed some disinfectant in these two flow hoods and the, the one up there that gives the positive pressure system into this room. So in my next video, I'm going to start making up agar on Petri dishes. I have a couple of different ways I'm going to do that. So uh, stay tuned.